Hey everybody, so back around Thanksgiving, I had a couple hours to kill, so I thought, hey, I should build something awesome. Uh, I'd also been watching a ridiculous amount of Doctor Who at the time, so I figured I would build a TARDIS. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen the show, Doctor Who is about this human-looking alien dude who has two hearts and he travels through time in a time machine that looks like a, a 1960s British police box called the TARDIS. It's weird, I know, but just watch the show, it'll make sense. Uh, sort of. So I grabbed some soft wood, I grabbed an X-Acto knife, started chopping away, painted it up, I added some signage, took a step back and thought, I could make this cooler. So I dug up a battery, grabbed a switch, threw in a couple of LEDs, and I added this functioning light up to the top. I figured I was done, put it away, then a few weeks later I picked it back up and thought, no, I, I could still make this cooler. So if you've ever watched the show, you might know that there's this running gag in which most new characters flip out about the TARDIS being uh, bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. The inside's bigger than the outside? It's bigger on the inside, that's all. Why don't you crammed in? It's bigger on the inside. Is it? I haven't noticed. So I grabbed the X-Acto knife again and I hacked off this front door here. Uh, and I added this kind of tiny, whiny, black and white pattern behind it. Now before you're like, what? That's lame. What's up with the zebra print inside the TARDIS, Greg? The real TARDIS doesn't have that. Check this out. I built this little companion app that goes with it. Uh, you hold up the phone to the TARDIS and bam, it's bigger on the inside. Uh, I modeled up the TARDIS interior here using this app called Blender, which I'd never used before, so that was kind of a challenge. Uh, Blender is crazy powerful, but it's also got a ridiculously steep learning curve. Uh, after a couple days of bashing my head into the keyboard, I finished the model. I wrote up the companion app using a combination of Unity and Qualcomm's augmented reality framework. Uh, and ta-da! A TARDIS that through a bit of techno voodoo is bigger on the inside. Can't really hear it, but it also kind of hums, so you can hear the TARDIS kind of working away in there. Thinking about making a papercraft version of it so anybody can play with it if they want to. But yeah, so that is my TARDIS that is bigger on the inside. Thanks for watching.